Hey guys, what's going on? R2 here. Uh, here to do a little uh, pickups video that I got. Uh, first off, sorry about the lights. They weren't flickering for ages until I just started recording and now they're just flickering again. Nothing I can do. Um, but yeah, I got some DVDs and uh, one single Blu-ray. I uh, ordered these a few weeks ago. Postage has been absolutely friggin' terrible at the moment here in Australia, uh, especially in my region in, in Victoria. Uh, it's taking over a month of, for things to get here that are coming from Melbourne. So I live about an hour and 10 minutes away from Melbourne at the most, maybe 50 minutes even. And it's taking over a month for things to get delivered here. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I don't understand why it's taking so long. I know why it's taking so long. I just don't understand how that's the cause. So anyway, um, I bought this big stack. <coughs> uh, yeah, as I said, a few weeks ago. Um, it's a, it's a stack of brand new DVDs from two companies, I guess. They might be the same company, but just with two different labels. Um, they're called Feature Films, I guess. Yeah, Feature Films and ITN. So they're just really cheap, uh, cheap labels or cheap DVDs. Um, it's probably similar to the stuff you might get from your, like your Dollar Tree and, and your Family Dollar and your cheapest chips here in Australia. Um, I think there's 22 or 23. It only cost me roughly $2.33 each. So, yeah, I just thought I'd get it. Because <laughs> there's some cool ones in here. There's a couple that I'll probably never watch. I might even just give away, but um, I'll start with the all the uh, feature film ones. Um, and this is the only Blu-ray. Uh, what's this one? Black, Mount Black Mountainside. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's got strong things and violence. So, they say, uh, I like this interesting pull quote on the front. It says, it's a beautifully shot, creepy love letter to John Carpenter's The Thing. So, I mean, we'll see how true that is. But uh, it looks like some sort of like sci-fi or creature feature about something that's in the ice. In like uh, uh, in like Canada's snowy mountains uh, area. So, uh, it's MA, so it might be pretty, pretty bloody, pretty gory. Um, yeah, check it out one day. <laughs> Uh, the next one I got from Feature Films is, what the fuck is that? Loitering. Okay, Loitering with Intent. Um, I don't know what this is. It just was in the big lot. It was a big lot that I got. wasn't like I got all these individually. Um, this is, the only person that I know in this is Sam Rockwell. Uh, I don't like him. He's cool. I don't think I'll ever watch this. I'll probably just donate to the op shop or something like that. <laughs> it just looks not like my type of film and I don't even know what type of film it is um, whatever yeah. uh, this one looks interesting it's called Western Religion uh, I don't know anyone that's in it there's no one really big name in it that I know of uh, it's just a Western it's not like a, I don't think it's a I think it's just an action Violence, sex scene, drug, and drug use. Yeah, just a Western action um, shot in 2016. Sorry, 2014. Um, yeah, might be alright. I don't mind a modern day Western. I say like a modern day Western, like a, a Western made in semi modern day. Uh, they tend to be pretty, pretty cool looking. So let's check that out one day. See how many times I say that. I'll check that out one day. Uh, the Night Watchman. I've seen this somewhere before on something. God, there's lights, man. That's terrible. Uh, I've seen this somewhere before. Um, it's just like a like a comedy slasher, I guess. Yeah. But the killer, the clown looks looks cool on the front there. That glare. See that glare there? That's monkey magic. <laughs> anyway, uh, Night Watchman. Yeah, these lights, man, I don't know what's going on, but they were not flickering all day until I decided to film this video, and now they're flickering like crazy, so I'm, I'm gonna even just not film this video while they're flickering like that. Okay, um, I changed the light settings a little bit and I punched the wall, and they seem to have stopped flickering, but we'll see how long that lasts. So the Night Watchman was the last one that I showed. Looks, yeah, it's definitely some sort of horror slasher comedy. Um, we got, next up is, the Suicide Theory. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anyone in here that I know either. Strong themes, uh, violence, sex, and coarse language. MA15 Plus. 
this just, what do they say, this is a thriller. So, yeah, 2016 that's from. So that might be all right. My soundbar is about to turn off over there. Uh, London Heist, MA15+, plus, Strong Violence and Coarse Language. So, uh, no one in here that I recognize either. I think that's going to be an ongoing theme. Not going to be many people in these movies that I recognize. Um, yeah, just some sort of British heist action film, I'd say. There are a dime a dozen. Uh, we got a sci-fi here called Listening. Try not to get that glare. I should just turn that TV off, but yeah, remote's all the way over there. Uh, strong themes and violence. This one looks really cool. This one kind of looks like um, um, what's that one? What's that one? I can't think of the name, but it's it's like sort of like technological sci-fi where they get into your mind and they they can see your thoughts and they can um, control your thoughts all that sort of shit like that. So yeah, I like those sort of sci-fi. My favorite kind of sci-fi is abduction films, but then other the other ones that are like like mind sci-fi, like they're really cool. Um, we've got this one is a supernatural horror called Reclusion. It has supernatural themes and coarse language. It's just M, so it'll be pretty tame, I reckon. Um, yeah, supernatural horror films get me good. Uh, here's another sort of supernatural horror called Shame the Devil. Um, that's got an interesting cover. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted by the cover. Uh, strong themes, violence, sex scenes, and of course, oh, and <laughs> and coarse language. I thought it was, <laughs> and of course, language. So, <laughs> um, yeah, what's it? Shame the devil. Look at that cover. That reminds me of, um, yeah, that reflection. Hang on a sec. <laughs> uh, the start of Resident Evil 7, when you're tied up to the chair. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> I tried playing that on VR, couldn't get past the title screen. I was like, no thanks. <laughs> so that was all the, that was all the uh, feature films. Oh, my phone, remote. Uh, now I've got the ITN. So we're starting with a drama, which I, this, I don't know what this is. Uh, okay, whatever. Medium level course language and sex scenes. Um, X, Y. I don't know what this is. I probably just don't need it. Uh, the Is Insomniac, some sort of a thriller. It's got Danny Trejo in it. That's pretty cool. He'll probably be in it for like three minutes. Strong Violence, MA15+. Um, I'd say, the yeah, the violence might be pretty good in it, so, for being MA. Cool. Definitely have to check that out, even if, Danny Trey, who is only in it for about yeah, three or four minutes. Uh, what have we got here? Fang. M. Be pretty tame. Hopefully it's got some cool creature effects. It's about a, a killer dog or something, or a killer wolf. Set in some desert, small desert town. Yeah. Uh, from 2015. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not too cheesy with the CGI. Yeah, I like these creature features, but I like them when they're... I prefer them uh, dodgy practical effects as opposed to dodgy CGI. Because I just... I don't know. I just like practical effects. <laughs> uh, what have we got here? Last Killer Laugh. This has got um, Tom Sizemore in it. I recognize that name. Uh, it's an action film. It's from the 2015. So they're all roughly from the same time between 2014 and 2016 so far. So this is, yeah, pretty cool. Like a mobster type gangster uh, action. Always like those. Um, we got a thriller here called Off. Probably going to say this wrong, but Piste? Piste? Pissed? Off pissed? <laughs> That'll do. Uh, yeah, set in the snow uh, somewhere. Uh, an ex SAS guy. Uh, I think people are coming for him, so he. Yeah, it's like maybe like a Rambo type thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only guessing from the cover. Uh, this is like a sci fi comedy from the director of Astronaut Farmer, which is interesting because I have. Pretty sure I've got Astronaut Farmer, never seen it. Um, pretty sure that's 
Sam Rockwell or William Fitcher, or I think. I don't know. I could be making it up. Uh, Hot Pot. Anyway, sci fi comedy. Hot Pot. This has got. Um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Is, his, is it Donald Faison? That could be him. Guy from. Uh, that guy. That guy. Um, he's in Kangaroo Jack and some other film that I watched recently. Anyway, uh, what's this one? Thriller, Natural Selection, M. Oh, this one. Oh, this has got Anthony Michael Hall in it. Um, is it? Yeah, this is about a school shooting, I think. This might have something to do with school shooting. I'm not 100%. Just going off the back, it sort of sounds like it. Uh, this might be very, uh, might be very intense. Ah, this one was awesome. This is other one of the reasons why I ended up buying this lot was just for this one film, um, Frankenstein versus the Mummy. And this is the only R-rated movie for high impact horror, violence, blood and gore. So it's going to be very uh, practical effect, blood and gore, hopefully. But, um, yeah, this looks awesome. This looks so good. So bad, it is going to be good. Uh, anybody in here that we know? Nah. Not even a, a dodgy cameo by some fake, like some B-grade celebrity. Not that I'm, I can tell. But this looks so good. <laughs> the back looks awesome. Any versus type movies, um, I'm a big fan of. Uh, one of my favourites is from Monster Pictures, uh, Monster, <coughs> Monster Brawl, it's, uh, fantastic. Um, Brian Austin Green and Menace Savari in this thriller called Don't Bleak. Yeah, haven't seen Menace Savari, uh, Savari anything for the fucking longest time. This is from 2014, so six years ago. Um, Brian Austin Green, the only last thing I saw him in was, uh, Something, oh, Super, Supergirl, was he in Supergirl? I think he played, um, uh, that robot with the kryptonite in his chest. Can't think of his name. Yeah. Might be right. Um, we got Boost with Danny Trejo. Trejo. Uh, Danny Trejo. Uh, Michael Flores. Flores? That name sounds familiar. Um, yeah, so the action. Might be cool. Cool. Boost. I don't know if I said that. I think so. I think I did. Uh, this is from 2015. So, uh, so Car Thief comes out to uh, LA to start fresh, apparently, and then uh, he just gets caught up again in some wrongdoings. Uh, another film I got this for, uh, got this big pack for, is the Ouija. The oh my god. <laughs> The Ouija uh, Resurrection. So I don't know if this sits in with the other Ouija movies. Um, just a supernatural horror. I've got a couple already. Um, yeah, I, it could be just uh, related in name and not like film at all. So it looks pretty bad going on the back. It just looks really shitty, but that's what you expect of these sort of films. Uh, from 2014. Yeah. Luigi Resurrection. And this is the main one uh, that I wanted this pack for because this is going to be so bad, but I can't wait to watch this. I might even watch this today. Uh, the Ninja Removable, uh, Immovable, Immovable Heart. Oh my god. The Ninja Immovable Heart. Fuck. Uh, Danny Glover's in this. So that's fantastic. Uh, 2014, man, he's he made enough probably from his Lethal Weapon movie, so he can just go and make any movies, whatever he wants, you know, just for fun, basically. I'm sure he doesn't need the money. Um, they say this is part The Dark Knight, part Born Identity. So 
What a crossover that is. That'd be fantastic. Uh, the other person in it is Rob Bard, so I don't know who that is. But it's just on the back. It's just got, looks. It's just got a, a dude like a ninja with his two swords on his back, and he's facing like an entire army, like SAS type army with tanks and and all that sort of shit. So that just looks ridiculous. I don't think that's that would even be in the film, but like that particular scene. But on the front, he's fighting other other zombies. I mean, <laughs> other ninjas. Jesus. And then the last one. Uh, Mark Ryan? Is that the guy? No, that's Mark Singer. I thought it was Beastmaster. That's okay. Um, street. Action. Rocky meets Bloodsport. Cool. I love these sort of cheesy action films. Um, this is from 2015 again. And it goes for like an hour and 20 minutes. So how can you not just you know chuck this on and for an hour or just kill an hour just for fun yeah uh it's like an mma style fighting um a uh, movie set like uh with a rocky blood uh with the rocky story but blood sport type fighting competition so i'm guessing it'd be set modern day too so modern day 2015 so that's always good. I like a good MMA style fighting movie. Uh, I've only seen a few, but the ones I've seen I've enjoyed. Like so that's they've been set in modern day. Um, yeah. So that that was it. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Some interesting titles, maybe four or five interesting titles out of a lot. But as I said, I got it in a big lot for like two dollars thirty three per film. So um, that's fine. There's a yeah a couple there. I'll just donate back to the op shop or donate to someone. So, uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, um, let me know down in the I'll see section down below if there's any films there that uh, you think I should watch first or maybe recommend me something else and I'll watch that instead because, uh, yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, stay safe, stay happy and um, thanks for watching.